Hi everyone, this video will show you the actual experimental steps and data collected for the Le Chatelier's principal lab. Your instructor may ask you questions related to the procedure or data shown in the video. As you're going through the videos, it's useful to have the lab procedure and lab report with you so you can write down all the relevant observations. We will start with part A, which is investigating the shifts in an acid-base equilibrium. We start by adding bromothymol blue, an acid-base indicator, into three test tubes at five milliliter each. Record the original color in your lab report. We leave the leftmost test tube unchanged. To the middle test tube, we add a few drops of six molar NaOH, while to the test tube on the far right, we add a few drops of six molar HCl. Use these colors to help you answer the questions in your lab report. We then move on to part B, which explores the solubility equilibrium of lead chloride. Here, we measured 5 milliliter each of 0.3 molar lead nitrate and 0.3 molar hydrochloric acid. We then add 1 milliliter at a time, the HCl solution, into the lead nitrate followed by gentle stirring. Observe what happens and record it in your lab report. We add another milliliter of HCl and then mix it again. Then we add another milliliter and stir it again. Record what you see in your lab report. We then set up a hot water bath by heating water in a beaker over a Bunsen burner. While the test tube is being heated, we gently mix the solution inside using a stirring rod. Record the change you observe. We then put the solution in an ice water bath and let it cool down. Again, record the change you observe. We then start to add the ionized water into the test tube one milliliter at a time, stirring after each addition. We keep adding water one milliliter until we see a change in the appearance of the test tube content. This change was observed after six milliliters of water was added. Now we continue to part C, which explores the equilibrium of a complex ion. We start with a solution made up of solid cobalt chloride mixed with three drops of 12 molar HCl. Record the color you observe. We add one milliliter of water into the test tube. We then add another one milliliter and notice a change after two milliliters of water is added. Record this in your lab report. We put the test tube in a hot water bath and see a clear color change in the complex ion solution. We then take the test tube out and put it in an ice water bath and notice another change occurring. Make sure you record all these color changes in your lab report. We're now in the last part of the lab where we're investigating how we can use Le Chatelier's principle to help dissolve insoluble salts. We start by mixing a solution of 0.1 molar zinc nitrate with 6 molar NaOH in a test tube labeled A. Record your observation of the mixture. We make two more of these mixtures in two other test tubes labeled B and C. The test tubes are placed in a rack arranged from left to right as A, B, and C. To test tube A, the leftmost test tube, we add two drops of 6 molar HCl. To test tube B, the middle test tube, we add two drops of 6 molar NaOH. Lastly, to test tube C, the rightmost test tube, we add two drops of 6 molar ammonia. We then mix the contents and let the solution reach equilibrium. Record what you observe now with the three test tubes. More importantly, compare this to what you saw earlier at the start with the three test tubes. Now we're going to repeat the experiment, but by mixing magnesium nitrate and 6 molar NaOH in three new test tubes labeled D, E, and F. Just like before, this is what we observe in the test tube at the start. Now we're going to arrange the three test tubes from left to right. To the leftmost test tube, which is tube D, we add two drops of 6 molar HCl. To the middle one, which is test tube E, we add two drops of 6 molar NaOH. Lastly, to test tube F, the rightmost test tube, we add two drops of 6 molar ammonia. We mix the contents and let the solution reach equilibrium. Record what you observe now with the three test tubes, D, E, and F. Use these observations to answer the questions in your lab report. 